Hey folks, welcome to Black Gumbo. Today I'm going to support some pepper plants with a new system I discovered. Let's go look. So I have this new system that I found, and I found it through one of you guys commenting on, I think it was an Instagram post, but for the life of me, I can't find who uh, tipped me off about this modular trellis system. It's like a modular cage system. So what you do, it comes with these, uh, enough to make about a four foot tall uh, tripod or a trio of poles. And in between these poles, you have these movable cross braces that can go and, and you can set them you know, however you need. So I thought, well, it's worth a try. I mean, it's an interesting system. It looks pretty sturdy. And I've got some floppy peppers that need to be uh, secured. So let's go and, and see how these assemble and, and give these a little look. Here's what you get in the packet. You get, you get a set of cross braces, if I can extract them here. You get a set of these cross braces, and this is what they look like. Little plastic things with a hook on either side that you just hook onto your pole, and they support your plant. So you get uh, enough of those to do uh, one, two, three, looking at one I've already built. One, two, you get three levels of these if you keep them kind of all together. There are nine of them total, and they come already hanging on this handy little piece of uh, pipe to keep them all together. All right, you also get a bunch of poles. Now, you notice that some of them have this plastic arrow head on there to protect them. Uh, those are your end pieces, top or bottom. And then there's three pieces that don't have anything on either end. And then you get a packet of a little plastic tube. So these go on the end of each of the poles that have a open end each pole with an open end with open ends gets one on either side and then you take your poles that have a spike on them and just assemble it together and it takes three of these posts three of these poles to uh, build a one of the three that your trellis is going to be made of and so there we go we have a pole i guess well, that's about three and a half four feet long the tricky part with these that I've found is uh, knowing where to plant your spikes because if you've already got a plant growing, you got to plant, kind of assemble this around the plant. Now if you're just starting with a small plant, you can assemble this beforehand and drop it in place. But if you've already got a plant there, you kind of have to use these arms to measure where you're going to put your next, drop your spike down. That's not too hard, just something you need to be aware of. All right, well let's go. Uh, Let's go prop up a pepper. Now you can see here, I've got this bell pepper that is uh, leaning over because of the weight of the fruit. And so I'm interested if this will actually fit in a five gallon bucket. And so what I'm gonna do is drop one down in there and I'm gonna take one of these rods and it doesn't look like it's gonna fit in a five gallon bucket. It's too big. All right, so you can see I've got this ancho pepper and it's nice and bushy, but it's also going to be needing some support, especially when these little peppers start to get big. And there's a lot of fruit coming in all over. Every branch has a lot of fruiting buds and little tiny fruits coming in. So I'm going to do like this one here, and I'm going to support this by dropping in one of my stakes right down through my mulch there, and then using one of these. I'm going to measure, just clip it on, I'm going to measure where to put the second pole. I'm not going to shove it in yet, I'm just going to hold it right there and I'm going to use two more of these to measure where to put my third pole. That just makes it real easy if it doesn't fall down on you, just right there. All right, so that one's good. Got to puncture the mulch layer here. There we go. There we go. All right. Now what you can do is take these, these clips, and now that your plant is growing, you know where to put things. I could just cage this plant up real easy 
and I can move these around as the plant grows and I can cage up my plant however I feel is best. For this guy, I'm going to support these growing branches at different spots and that's the beauty of this system that I, the reason I bought it, not because I like a gimmicky system like this, I mean, I'll just use bamboo poles to support things if I if I have to but I like it because I can move these around I don't have to go out and tie a bunch of knots and remember all my Boy Scout knots which I'm pretty bad at so this allows me to come out here and have a pretty stiff little cage for my uh, tomatoes or peppers it's pretty simple and pretty ingenious I like it we'll see how it holds up I don't have high expectations for this lasting more than a season or two which might be its downfall. Now these peppers are protected. And that's pretty sturdy. That's not going to blow over from the wind or anything like that. It's pretty sturdy. Simple enough. I found this third one is the most difficult one to put in, although it's not difficult really, but it's the tricky one that you can get wrong. You want to put in two of these cross pieces and bring them together so that you know where the, the third point of your triangle is. There we go. So there we have it. Three kind of interesting modular tomato or pepper cages. And if you're from my area, those three things standing there kind of remind you of a jack-up rig, oil rig, in harbor for maintenance. You've got these three posts like this. But yeah. They're fairly sturdy. The clips uh, seem to grab on pretty well. Not going anywhere. And I can move these around as I need to to ac accommodate the growth of the plant. Let's go look at this guy over here. Just like a tomato cage. Trap your plant inside and support it. This pepper will, will weigh itself down as it grows. It'll hang over the edge there. What do you think? I don't know what the benefit of that is. I'll have to see through the growing season if there's a real benefit because otherwise, you know, I kind of like a tomato cage or a teepee made of bamboo. The problem with these teepees made of bamboo is you got to tie them up and that's a little more labor intensive. So it comes down to that old adage you always hear quality, money, or time. You can only have two. So if you buy one of these, you save time. You get, uh, you spend more money though. If you make one of these, you save money, but you invest more time. Both of them I've found have about the same qual quality. I mean, this is a pretty sturdy cage here that I've made. Just tied it off with some bank line, tie my plants to it with some vinyl uh, arborist tape. And uh, yeah, that works for me. Yeah, that's kind of neat though. It was neat enough for me to buy it and try it. Another new, uh, a new method to hold up your plants. And uh, <laughs> yeah, I think, that, I think it'll work just fine. Will I buy more? Maybe, we'll see at the end of the season, I'll let you know how I like them or not. And if they really do hold up. I mean, that's just a standard metal pipe with a plastic coating that you might buy it down at the Home Depot. It's the same kind of thing. So they should, they should hold up fine. Many years should come out of those. It's uh, whether or not that plastic gets brittle and those little clips are going to be the weak spot. The loop at the end that actually clips onto the, to the post is going to be the weak spot. If the sun weakens that and it loses flexibility, it'll snap right off of there and it'll be useless. And I'll just have myself some, uh, some regular old steaks. Hey, thanks for joining us today on Black Gumbo. I'm so glad you stopped by. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't, please do so and uh, click the bell down there. You'll be notified when we post videos. We try to get two a week, sometimes three, and if it's real ambitious, we'll do four. Like us on Facebook. Sometimes I'll post a little short update on Facebook. We had a compost pile update the other day, and today I posted up uh, about a big water snake we caught in, a, in the yard today. So every now and then I'll share some things like that over on Facebook and give you little updates. Also like us on Instagram. We like to see everybody's pictures, and uh, yeah, glad you stopped by. You have a good day. Bye-bye.